All right, new at six, the son of Marquette University's president was has now dropped out over racist and sexist posts he made online. The school's student run newspaper, the Marquette Wire, broke the story today. Sean Gallagher shares more on how this all came to light. The Marquette Wire article says Matt Lovell made the racist and sexist posts online during his freshman year a couple of years ago. Now his father and president of the university says his son has dropped out because of it, a sign that those even with perceived power can face repercussions for their actions. I can accept an apology. I just want to see what you're going to do differently. Jacqueline Oredu graduated in 2011 as the only African-American student in her class. She says the derogatory statements Matt Lovell made about Martin Luther King Jr. and former President Barack Obama go deeper than social media. If you feel this comfortable posting something like this, what type of conversations have you had at home? Why, why would you think it's okay? In a statement to the Marquette Wire, Matt Lovell apologized, saying, I deeply regret having posted offensive, racist, and sexist images on social media. The images do not reflect who I am or the values my family lives by. His father, Marquette President Mike Lovell, said, Our son made a serious mistake. Words cannot express Matt's regret or our entire family's sorrow for any pain these posts caused. He also added the importance of speaking up. I asked when we see racism and inequities, we need to call them out. We need to hold each other accountable, including my son, Matt. I will say that I was overly impressed with um, what the outcome was um, in terms of removing him and, and kind of sticking true to that. If you see something, say something. Travis Chambers graduated in 2018. Earlier this year, after Marquette rescinded a women's lacrosse scholarship for insensitive comments the student made online about George Floyd, he was glad to see the president's son face some sort of repercussion. Both agree that speaking out is everyone's duty, no matter who it's about. I'm thinking you have a powerful position. I'm not going to say anything. But the people who did come forward, it's because the time is actually right to do it. I commend the two who spoke up. Um, I hate that we're still in the space where people feel like they need to be anonymous out of fear of repercussion. The Marquette Wire article goes into much more detail about how the university handles situations like this. We'll have a link on our website at TMJ4.com. Just look for this story. On Marquette's campus, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.